I posted a blog post today from one of our members and he was sharing his insights with other members of our community. He's only in the community around three and a half months at healing from decades of betrayal. And here's the thing, the part that excites me for him is this new life that's emerging and this new second chance at having an amazing, incredible relationship. The part that really, really upsets me is this, decades, Decades have gone by, and I'm saying this to you because so many of you are struggling with a betrayal that happened so many years ago, maybe even something that happened in childhood. And that experience was so horrific and so horrible, or it was a recent betrayal that shattered your heart in a million pieces and shattered your trust. And that happened, and you're still allowing that to impact your health, your work, your relationships today. If nothing changes, nothing changes. And I know so, because I speak to a lot of you, and I message with a lot of people, and I meet with a lot of people, and I know they're saying, oh, you know what, I can't heal, and it's, you know, it's okay, and I'm just getting through. No, it's a waste of a trauma. You want to use that trauma as the catalyst for your transformation. You want to use that experience, extracting any possible nugget you can, to say, what is it that I can take from that experience to create a, a, a completely different version of me that never would have had the opportunity to be created if that experience didn't happen. But you know what I know? If nothing changes, nothing changes. And so many people are just so stuck. And this is stage three of the five stages from betrayal to breakthrough. This is stage three. They go over it and over it again. And they, they marinate and they, they ruminate. And that's all they're doing. And they're unpacking their story. And they're, they're getting validated. And that's pretty much all they're getting. They're going to counselors. They're going to therapists. They're being heard. But that's it. There's nothing that's moving them forward. There's nothing that's taking them to the next level, the next stage. Transformation is waiting for you in stages four and five. That's where life begins and people stop because they, they think they're not worthy, deserving, they don't have the tools, they don't have the support. That's what we have for you in the PBT Institute. It's all there. Remember, I did the research just a few years ago. That was me. I was so broken, I, or never broken, bent, but you know what I mean. So devastated, so so shocked and blindsided thinking there's no possible way I can get through this. And here I am now, years later, I didn't do anything you couldn't do, but there wasn't a roadmap for it. There's a roadmap for it now. I had every symptom, you name it, of post-betrayal syndrome. You can take the quiz on the site to see to what extent you're struggling, but anxiety and and health issues, all kinds of health issues. Your adrenals have tanked, your immune system is suppressed, you can't sleep, you have digestive issues, you have weight changes. Maybe in the beginning, you can't hold food down. Later on, you're using food for comfort. All of these hypervigilance, uh, PTSD symptoms, they're all real. And they're all what's healed as you move through the stages. So just as that member was sharing to other members of our community, his changes in only a matter of three months, I'm sharing this because you need to know, yes, your situation may be a little bit different, but there are there are things that are so similar with betrayal that, that everybody who's been betrayed experiences. Every single one of our certified PBT coaches has gone through it. They know how to help you move through it. I've been through it. I know how to help you move through it. Staying stuck is such a bad use of your time. You're continuing to give that experience and that person so much power over you. It's time to take your power back. It's time to use that trauma as the catalyst for your transformation. It's time to move through the five stages from the trailer to breakthrough. No more winging it. No more trying to just, well, I'll figure it out. I'll do it on my own. Oh, well, no. You don't have to do that. And I'm not saying this because so you, that you join my program. I have all kinds of free stuff for you if you want. What I'm saying is there is a predictable, proven way to move through all of it. But I invite all of you to read the blog post that I posted today. I took many of his words. I had to protect some of it just because of privacy within uh, the community. But read it so you see what happens within this special space so that you can heal physically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, and use the opportunity to become a version of you so healed, so strong, so confident, so, so empowered because of the experience. That's trauma well served. So nobody in our community, me, our coaches, did anything you couldn't do. They just decided, I'm not, I'm not sticking with this. This doesn't, 
I deserve better. I deserve more. I want to heal from this. I, I deserve to sleep. I deserve to be, to feel good. I deserve to rebuild. And that's, we teach you how to do all of that. So read the blog post, uh, you know, on the, on the site, the pbtinstitute.com. And if it feels right, join us. Just whatever you do, move through the five stages from a trail to breakthrough. Don't stay stuck.